Rod Howard here. Today we'll be discussing, is it better to master one specific skill or is it better to kind of be a jack of all trades and a master of none? Let's talk about it. And I'll live over you and the war goes on. And I'll live over you and the war goes on. So this is actually a topic that um, I actually go back and forth with a lot of my good friends about. Is it better to spend all of your time focusing on sharpening one specific skill or is it better to kind of be good at a bunch of different skills so that you can use that to achieve your dream or whatever your goal happens to be? I honestly find myself torn in discussing this because oftentimes I find myself going back and forth with thinking about it. In some instances, I think that it's very important that you kind of focus in on specific goals and tasks and try to make sure that you master those skills. And at the same time, I think that it's good to be skilled or uh, be knowledgeable in a multitude of different topics just to make sure that you have extra skills that you can use to assist you along the way. Modern society more often than other actually identify individuals that spread their time trying to learn about multiple topics at a single time as kind of being unorganized or lost or even unfocused and, and drifting. There was a time in history when guys like this were kind of revered as gifted and talented and as renaissance men, you know? Uh, think about guys like Leonardo da Vinci. Think about like Isaac Newton, uh, Master P. Yeah, like, dude, did he just say Master P? Yes, I said Master P. Think about it, Master P. Uh, came up like he came up rapping, writing poetry, rapping, spitting everything. Uh, bro, ended up being a very successful businessman. And on top of that, bro played in the NBA, man. I mean, just living the dream, man. But seriously, man, um, people that were Renaissance men back there were celebrated. People were kind of in awe of the fact that people had all of these different talents and were able to not only do them, but they were able to master each and be great scientists, great thinkers and creators and, and artists. They were celebrated. It's not like now where you kind of think about guys that are good at multiple things and you instantly write them off. Again, I find myself personally being torn about focusing time on one specific goal so much so that you don't develop in other areas. The way I kind of think about it is like, think about uh, playing like in a pickup basketball game or something. You always got that one guy that's good at one specific thing, man. He's great at like shooting threes, but he can't dribble, he can't do anything else. You don't necessarily want to be that guy in real life because the reality is, Regardless of what your goal or what your dream happens to be, there's going to call for time when you're going to have to possess other skill sets to be successful. Um, if I bring that back and I discuss myself personally, uh, music is my primary focus. It has always been my primary focus, but along the way I've picked up other skills that have helped kind of enhance that music ability and kind of just helped me along the way. Like I started off actually creating music and because I needed Visa I actually learned how to produce. I wanted videos but then it's like I didn't trust other people with my artistic vision so I learned how to do videos and videos has actually turned into another uh, stream of revenue for me. So. I don't necessarily think it's entirely a bad thing to spend a little bit of time here and there trying to develop different skills along the way. At the same time, I will say that focusing on one specific skill set allows you to place all of your time and attention on trying to perfect that one specific craft or that specific thing and, you, and your skill set goes up. Whenever you focus on one specific thing, you do have the benefit of actually being able to move a little bit faster, be a little bit more effective. But in the real world, oftentimes we don't get the opportunity to spend uh, 24 hours a day or all of our time and dedicating it into one specific goal. And we're forced to kind of learn these other goals along the way. So all in all, is it better to master one specific skill or is it better to be a jack of all trades? My personal take on this would be, I think that it's a bit impractical to follow either route blindly and devoutly. There are times in life where we have to focus in on one specific goal or we're blessed with the opportunity to spend all of our time focusing on one specific skill and growing, but oftentimes we don't get that chance. When life kind of works, we're kind of forced to pick up other skills along the way. And we have to kind of learn to be jack of all trades at times in order to be successful. I don't necessarily all the way agree with the saying jack of all trades and the master of none. I do seriously think that it's possible uh, for a lot of people to actually master different skills and be great at each of them. 
if you're kind of blessed with the ability to be able to do multiple tasks and master each of them, do a great man. I take my hat off to you. I say go for it. Um, what are you guys feelings towards this? Do you think that it's possible to master multiple trades at one time? Or do you think that people should spend all of the time focusing on mastering one specific skill set? So please follow my page and make sure that you share it. Let me know how you feel about this. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. And I'll live over you.